learning to love myself. I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in my nature and my potential. I transform my weaknesses into strengths. I realize that I am a being of light. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am a being of light. And I allow myself to shine. Spirit is saying for you to allow yourself to shine. To shine bright. Your ideas, your instincts, follow your instincts, follow your gut in whatever journey you're on right now, present moment. It's not going to mislead you. Spirit is also saying there may, there may be some bumps in the road, but that's, 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 na that's nature. That's just how things go. That's the whole, that's the circle of life. That type of energy. I want you guys to put in the comments, I love myself. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I love myself. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy currently surrounding you guys. What's going on with you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. But also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. I do want to send a special shout out, guys, to all my members. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, guys, for joining me. I did do a members-only personal reading yesterday evening. I'm also going to be doing um, a members-only check-in in the middle of the month. And then we're going to do another check-in at the end of the month, okay? All right, my loves, let's get into this energy. For all my subscribers, guys, both old and new, thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. You guys are so loved. You're so appreciated. Right now, present moment, spirit. What's currently going on? What's currently going on? Who meeting someone new? Getting back out there, planning and setting a date. So I feel like you guys are kind of getting yourself back out there. You're scheduling something. There's a scheduling, scheduling an appointment here. So some of you guys right now, present moment, there's an energy here of kind of scheduling an appointment. Meeting someone new here. Getting back out there. Show me more. I feel like this could also be, this doesn't have to be, this could be related to your health. Like setting an updated appointment or setting an appointment, it could be with your health, your dental, you know, this could this could be a job, like setting an appointment, setting an interview I'm getting for some of you guys. Meeting someone new, some of you guys, you may be welcoming a new business partner or working with somebody new here. You know, this could also be a relationship, yes, but I'm getting something outside of a relationship here where you guys are meeting someone new here, but I feel like this is like vibing. I feel like this is you guys meeting someone new that you're vibing with. Yeah, what's influencing this? What's influencing this for my Virgos? The chaser. Fear of abandonment issues here. You you don't have you can't you can't not you cannot not work. You have to work. Somebody here, you're actually going for a new job or you're applying for a new job or you're putting yourself back on the market here for some type of position and or job here. But I'm also getting like some of you guys right now, present moment, you're, if this has to do with a relationship here or a situationship or 
a connection. This is a connection. I feel like there's a connection here. This this comes from lonesomeness. Um, not wanting to be alone, wanting to be in a relationship. So I do feel like there's a group of you guys where you're putting yourself back out there to connect with someone or to with others. This is showing me you guys kind of joining a small group or joining a community group, joining something within your community, being an active member. Like this is showing me like you guys wanting to be an active participant, an active participant in either a club, a group, or even a relationship. Or even a relationship here. I feel like there's a sense of wanting belonging here. Yeah, I feel like you guys have this sense of kind of wanting to belong to something or to someone here. Hmm. Some of you guys, you have somebody here that won't, they won't, they're chasing after you. Like they won't leave you alone. So this is like, okay, fine. I'll go out on a date with you. Okay fine. I will meet up with you. There's like an okay, fine. I will do this for you. That type of energy. It's for you as well, but I feel like it's you doing something for someone else. Yeah. Your challenge comes out is love, self-love. Some of you guys you're having, look at self-love energy is coming out here. It says oneness, passion, affection, and attraction is your challenge. You know, I picked up that energy yesterday evening. Your challenge is how you love yourself versus how you love something or someone else. So some of you guys, you're faced with that challenge right now, present moment. What's influencing this? It's your love language. It's your love. The fact that you, you have so much love to give, the fact that you're so passionate, you're so affectionate. You know, this is like sacrificing yourself for someone else's highest and greatest good. Some of you guys, your challenge right now, present moment, is you're sacrificing your own happiness or your own love and respect for yourself to please someone else. Yeah. Give me past energy for my Virgos. Competition, envy, clever, looking over your shoulder and the other woman here. So you, you know... You've dealt with a lot of snakes. Some of you guys, this could be within your work environment. Um, this could also be somebody here. You actually had a bad business partner or a bad, a bad relationship with somebody here that you tried to be, you tried to go into business with, or you were into business with this person. But this is showing me like having to look over your shoulder. Some of you guys, this has to do with your work and or your career. Or if this has to do with a relationship here, there may have been some type of third party. Somebody here, it's a mother figure that you're having to look over your shoulders for. It doesn't have to be your mother doesn't have to be your mother, but there's a mother figure here that you're having to watch your back over this person, against this person, like you've had to watch your back against this person, whoever that mother figure is. Some of you guys, it's somebody here that you work with, having to always kind of look over your shoulder here. Somebody here, you're moving on to something new here. You're chasing after something new here. You're chasing after a new career path or a new job or some type of new endeavor here. Somebody here, you're, you may be actually seeking to go back to school because I see someone actually sitting in a classroom. I see someone actually sitting in a classroom here. Show me. What's influencing this love as your challenge? What's influencing this love? You know what I feel? I feel like you want love so badly you want to be loved so badly some of you guys you want to be in a relationship so badly that type of energy is coming through show me love for my virgos yeah engagement ring partnership commitment completion and union i told you that's exactly the energy that i was channeling like some of you guys you want to be in a relationship you want to be in love it's just the notion of being in a relationship. Some of you guys, you want to be married. You want to be engaged. You want growth in a relationship here. And it doesn't have to be a person. Like, it doesn't have to be a relationship with a, with a significant other. It could be a relationship. Because that marriage energy also comes through, like, a career, a job. Feeling like an equal. So there's some type of connection that you guys are dealing with right now, present moment. And I feel like you're seeking the connection of feeling like you are equal. It doesn't have to be better or more. It's equal. I feel like you guys are seeking some type of partnership. But you know, today is 
October 2nd, you got the solar eclipse in Leo in Libra energy, which is all about partnerships and it's all about relationships. So there's a pursuit here. I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's a pursuit to healthy partnerships, healthy relationships, healthy connections is what's coming through. That's exactly what's coming through here. Because in the past here, you guys have dealt with the snake, having to look over your shoulder, dealing with somebody here that you couldn't quite trust or somebody here that they weren't real. Like, you know, this is like somebody waiting for you to mess up. You know, or somebody that they they said one thing in your face and they said something else behind your back. That type of energy. Show me the snake for my Virgos. So we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform. So again, this is coming out in your past. And this is showing me that you guys are leaving this in your past. This is showing me you guys are lead, leaving this in your past, right now, present moment, you guys are meeting someone new here. You guys are going after something new here. Now, like I said, this could be a relationship, yes, but I'm also getting some of you guys, this could be a work environment, a business partnership. You know, this could also be like a class, like leaving one class or one professor, one situation to go towards a whole nother one, to go towards a whole nother one because I feel like there's something here that was not healthy. I feel like you guys have something here that wasn't oh so healthy and it's like making it better and if you can't make it better i feel like you guys are kind of like seeking something new here yeah show me near future show me near future for my virgos oh so ooh, so we got, i like you so we got to focus on self your near future, focusing on yourself, your self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Look at this energy. This is exactly the energy. So in the near future, I see you guys focusing on yourself, your own self-work. You know, some of you guys, this is you're working on some shadow work. You may be do you may be meeting with someone here. You may be working with someone here, somebody that may be a shadow work healer, or somebody here that practices that. You know, some of you guys you may be working with. A actual like a Reiki healer or a healer here in some type of way shape or form to try and heal but I feel like you guys are trying to get your mind right I feel like you guys are trying to get your get your affairs in order you know that type of energy is coming through in the near future and we also have I like you someone likes you romance is blooming want to date you so some of you guys you're going to be in a relationship in the very near future or you're starting a new relationship here with someone this does not have to be romantic this does not have to be romantic. You could be starting a whole new career path, a whole new partnership, a whole new job. And there's somebody there that you vibe with. There's somebody there that you vibe with. Such strong energy. Yeah, show me. Show me what's currently going on. What's currently going on for my Virgo spirit? So we have the high priestess here, Pisces energy. But that high priestess came out in the resistance, the hermit, Virgo energy. Your intuitions is telling you something. Your intuitions is telling you something. There's a warning here. You guys are receiving some type of warning here. Pisces energy. You know, spirit is wanting you to use your discernment. Spirit is wanting you to use your discernment. There's some things here that you don't know here. You know, I also get some of you guys, you yourself, you're making certain moves in the background. Nobody sees it. Nobody knows it. But you're making moves here. And I feel like the moves that you're making is more withdrawing your energy, using the knowledge that you have. Some of you guys, it's like using your college education, the knowledge that you have accumulated in some type of way, shape or form. Life lessons, discernment. You learn some life lessons here. Again, I feel an energy here of you guys getting yourself out of an unhealthy situation. I feel like this is you guys getting yourself out of an unhealthy situation, but I feel like you guys are moving silently. Look at that. I do. I feel like you guys are somewhat moving extremely silent. Strength, Leo energy. But again, that strength came out in the resistance as well. Ten of pentacles. I'm sorry, eight of pentacles. A lot of you guys, this has to do with your work. 
a lot of you guys, this has to do with your work here. But strength talks about, you know, that high priestess and that strength both coming out in the resistance is kind of bothering me some. Because this is needing to have inner strength, needing to listen to your intuitions. So this is telling me like, you know, spirit is speaking to someone very specifically. Because there is, you see that snake, every time I use this deck, I always overemphasize it. You guys know this. With this hermit, you know, the hermit looks down and the hermit is on this journey, you know, and the hermit knows, you know, I'm on this journey. I have to take a step back and I have to go within because there's nothing good out there for me. That's kind of the energy of what I'm getting. Like there's nothing good out there for me when that hermit is kind of taking a step back. But that hermit is holding that lantern just to see the, the steps that's right in front of him. You know, I feel like right now, present moment, there's something right in front of you. Your spirit guides are telling you, you need to listen to your intuitions. You do. But also you need to seek within. If you're looking for, for approval or for, for like, I just lost the word that I was about to say. Like, if you're looking for outside approval or if you're looking for outside, God, like, if you're looking outside of yourself, spirit wants you to look within yourself. Because right now, present moment, this is telling me like with that strength that's coming out in the resistance, it's like strong Leo energy. There's There may be some insecurities, not trusting, not trusting your instincts, not trusting you're making the right trust, not trusting that you can handle something. But spirit is saying that you can. You have to move very strategically and very cautiously. There's a caution in how you're moving right now, present moment. Because I'm also seeing this high priestess and the high priestess is telling me that there is things that, that are unknown to you, that's unbeknownst to you. And you need to seek. It's almost like getting more information. Spirit is not saying for you to not to move. Spirit is not saying for you to not continue moving forward. Spirit is, it's almost like spirit is saying like you have, you need more information here. Hmm. But I also feel like spirit wants you to trust in your own inner guidance. Yeah, there's some type of energy here where like spirit wants you to trust in your inner guidance here. So you guys got the high priestess. I want you guys to use your intuitions. You guys got the high priestess, but the high priestess came out in the resistance. This, this is telling me there's some type of limiting belief here. There's some type of not trusting your gut, not trusting your own intuitions. So you may be seeking approval or confirmation from an outside source versus you listening to your own instincts, your own intuitions. With that Virgo energy that's coming out here, you know, your energy, This the spirit is saying that you do, you, you've learned some very valuable lessons along this journey. You know, you're on a journey right now, present moment. You're on a very spiritual journey right now, present moment. But the wisdom and the knowledge that, you, that you've accumulated over the years is more than enough for you to make whatever decision needs to be made or to, for you to make whatever move that needs to be made. Yeah. And with that strength in the reverse, this is showing me, I want you guys to use your intuitions because with that strength that's come out in the resistance, this is telling me like feeling like you're not strong enough, like there's a weakness here. Feeling like there's a depletion or there's a lacking energy. You know, right now, present moment, this is telling me you guys are not confident in some type of aspect. And I feel like it's not confident in trusting in your gut and trusting in your intuitions. But spirit is say, telling to you to use your discernment, use your intuitions in however you're moving and trust yourself, trust your gut. That's that, that energy is very important and that energy is very relevant for you. Yeah, show me, show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Learning to love myself. I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in my nature and my potential. I transform my weaknesses into strengths. I realize that I am a being of light. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am a being of light. And I allow myself to shine. Spirit is saying for you to allow yourself to shine. To shine bright. Your ideas, your instincts, 
follow your instincts, follow your gut in whatever journey you're on right now, present moment. It's not going to mislead you. Spirit is also saying there may, there may be some bumps in the road, but that's, 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 na that's nature. That's just how things go. That's the whole, that's the circle of life. That type of energy. I want you guys to put in the comments, I love myself. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I love myself. Yeah. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, guys.